Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing a few of my favorite products for a very minimal makeup routine. So this is minimal in not only the way that it looks, but also minimal in how many steps we're doing and how much time we're spending on our makeup. So this is really great for those days where you really don't have a lot of time. This morning, this look would have actually been perfect. Brooklyn is sick today, she's homesick today, and um, that obviously wasn't something we planned. And I called to make a doctor's appointment and the doctor could get me in in like 45 minutes. And I was like outside walking me when I had that call. So I had to get inside, shower real quick, dry the hair because I knew I was going to film today. Anyway, long story short, I'm drying my hair, looking at my watch, thinking, oh my gosh, I have to walk out of here in eight minutes. This look would have been perfect for today. So that's what I'm talking about. Quick, easy, multitasking, my favorite products. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using a few products from Merit Beauty. I did team up with Merit Beauty for this video, but I've been sharing Merit for a couple years now. It is one of my favorite brands when I'm looking for minimal makeup, makeup that is versatile, makeup that just looks like myself, but that I can also build it if I want a little more coverage or a little more color. They're very great multitasking products and just really easy, effortless products to work with. And you'll see in just a few moments. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just to kind of push my hair back here. I did wash it this morning, as I mentioned, so it's a little large. <laughs> and my blowout was like record speed this morning, so I'm still dealing with a little bit of frizz. She's okay. She's okay. We went and got all the tests for all the things, and everything was negative. It's just some, I mean, maybe it's allergies, and we're not sure. But I'm going to go in first and kind of prep the skin for makeup. I'm using Merit Beauty's Great Skin. This is an instant glow serum, and when this launched, was this last year this, this launched? I couldn't like stop talking about it. It's really like this beautiful, texture. It's kind of like a serum and an oil hybrid. It doesn't feel like traditional face oils. It's very lightweight. Actually, I'm going to pump a little bit in the palm of my hand here. It's great for all skin types. They actually say it has a one, two, three approach. So if you are oily, you want to use about one pump on the skin. If you are normal, two. And if you're dry, you can use three pumps on the skin. It literally feels like, oh my God, it feels so good. If you've tried face oils in the past, like you love the idea of a face oil, but you haven't found one light enough or one that you love, or maybe you apply a face oil, but you still feel like it's a little too oily. This would be a really great product to try because it does have the all the qualities of a beautiful face oil, but it's also very lightweight. It feels like a moisturizer and oh, it's just, it's really, really nice. You can use this to prime the skin for makeup. I'm gonna be using, I'm not gonna wear foundation today because again, we're doing minimal makeup. So I'm using this to just prep my skin and prime it for my tinted SPF. Okay, before we dive into my SPF, I do wanna mention a couple of things about Merit before I get started and forget to mention these because these are very important to know. But Merit Beauty, for your first purchase, like if you're a brand new customer and you order on their website, your first order, it ships with this complimentary, adorable little corduroy bag. Isn't this super cute? It's like a makeup bag, but you could also use it as like a little clutch, a little purse. I mean, it's so cute. So brand new customers get this with their first order. All of Merit Beauty products are non-comedogenic, which means they will not clog your pores. They also offer free shipping on orders over $40 or more. So I'll have those details in the description box. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the rest of our skin. So like I said, I'm gonna skip foundation today. So I'm gonna be using my Holy Grail Tinted SPF. This is from Elastin, this is the Hydro Tint. I have yet to find a tinted SPF that I love more than this. The only con I would say about this, if I'm trying to think of like, who might not love this. This isn't a great like moisturizer. It's not a hydrating SPF. It's really just a tinted SPF. So you still need to use a moisturizer. I use one pump of this. And because I applied that great skin just before this, it's really gonna help this product spread. Because this is not a really necessarily a hydrating or moisturizing SPF, it's nice to have something on the skin to help it spread and give it a little more spreadability. Wow, it really is spreading nicely on top of that great skin. The reason I love this tinted SPF is because for a tinted SPF, it actually gives a decent amount of coverage. Still very natural. It's not anything like medium or, or full coverage or anything like that. It's very natural, but it does a great job of evening the skin tone out. It looks really beautiful by itself. It also pairs really lovely under every foundation I've ever worn it under. So I really highly recommend this tinted SPF. I love, love it. Okay, you guys, let's go in and add a little more coverage. I'm obviously gonna 
Neutrogena Conceal. I'm using the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. I am the shade Bisque, light medium. What I love about this concealer on the days that I want a light makeup look is that it's very creamy. It blends into the skin beautifully. And the coverage is a nice medium coverage. So it's not super full coverage, which is important when you're not wearing foundation like days to day, because if you had full coverage and you didn't have any foundation on, it's gonna look kind of odd. <laughs> it's not gonna blend out and look real natural. So I'm gonna go in and blend this out. What I'm likely gonna do, I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm likely gonna add a little more concealer around the face and just areas that I feel like I need it. I took that great skin underneath my eyes as well. So I prepped the under eye area for concealer. That is, it's such a great face primer, especially if you have dry skin. I can't say enough glowing reviews about that product. It's so nice. Okay, so I have a little bit of pinkness on my nose. I'm gonna kind of cover that. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a tiny bit around my nose. But other than that, I'm gonna leave, leave it kind of light. The goal of this look again is to do something that you can get out the door in five minutes. So for my brows, the product that I chose for this specific video is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Brow Lift and the shade I use is medium brown. And the reason I chose this is because it's very great for my particular brow needs. I usually use a gel with this product, but because again, I'm trying to like minimize the amount of products I use, I'm just gonna use this. And that's why I picked it because it can give you the look of shadow and a pencil. It can really help shape the brow but it also has kind of a waxy texture to it. So it'll kind of lay the brow hairs down, which is nice. Typically I would use a brow gel, like I said, but for today's specific video, we are gonna skip the brow gel and we are just gonna use this. I had a little bit of something in my brows this morning. I don't even remember what I used. I had a little, I think I used the Grande Lash uh, Brow Serum Tinted Brow Gel. <laughs> so I kind of cheated a little bit, but I like this because you can get a nice fine little tip here, but you can also get a thicker, kind of bulkier look by using the tip of this. It's nice because with a micro fine pencil, you're really just gonna get micro fine lines. But with this, you can kind of get, you're not gonna get micro fine lines, but you can get thin and then thicker lines as well. So it's pretty versatile. Okay, let's move right along. So for bronzer, I'm going in, let me see, I have two shades of this. This is the Bronze Balm by Merit Beauty. I love their cheek products. They have a blush balm that I'm gonna share as well. And the Bronze Balm is a newer product. I think this launched last year. I have two shades. Shades. I have the shade CN and then the shade clay. Let me show you what these look like. What I like about this formula is it's very weightless and it's very buildable. So you can get a very sheer, like natural wash of color, but you can build it to get more coverage, which is really important for the look that we're doing today. And we have clay here. And then we have CN here. They're kind of similar. Clay leans, a, looks to be a little bit more cool tone. CN is a little bit deeper. We are gonna go in with the shade Clay today. So what makes this so buildable and flexible is it has micro fine little powder pigments in it, which are gonna blend really seamlessly into the skin. And it has a really nice, like balmy, creamy texture to it. Normally what I would do is I would kind of work and blend out areas at a time. Like for example, I would do this area, blend it out and then go and do the next. But this has very beautiful blendability. So I can really kind of let this sit on the skin a little longer and I'm not worried about it having any issues blending it. I'm also gonna kind of go down the side of the nose to create a little more structure here. And I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 109 to blend this out. This has a really soft radiant finish to it. So it doesn't have shimmer to it, but it's still gonna give the skin a little bit of a glow because of the finish of it. What I like about this bronze balm is that it works too, like on the days, like today when you're not wearing a foundation, that's the key. When you're when you're skipping foundation and your skin's more natural, you really need to be careful about the products that you layer over top of it because you don't want stuff that's too heavily pigmented because it's not gonna really quite blend out as easily. You want products that really just like melt into the skin and look more natural and sheer and that are really buildable. That's the key. And this one is, perfect for that. So if I were to go in with a cre like a highly pigmented cream bronzers, and I keep in mind, I love those bronzers, but if I were to go in with something like that on the days that I don't have any foundation on, it's just gonna look really off. You know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna be harder to blend. It's gonna be very obvious. It's not gonna look natural. Okay, so I have kind of sheared this out to be pretty natural. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add a little layer, but instead of using the stick onto my skin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the brush. This is gonna really help me customize how much color I want. So the next part is kind of optional when you're doing makeup like this. If you want any color on the eyes, I would definitely go with a long wear cream shadow stick. This one's from Bobbi Brown. It's the shade Bronze. These are literally the easiest eye product to work with. I mean, they're so easy. You can use them as eyeliners or shadows. I'm just gonna use this as do like a thick, chunky line on my eye. And then I'm gonna take my 
middle finger and just kind of blend out the edge. This is just gonna give a little shimmer to the eyes, but we're not gonna put eyeliner on. We can use this on the lower lash line if we want a tiny bit of definition, but what I love about this is the color and the shimmer make it really soft. So you can't really mess it up. I mean, you just can't. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. A little bit of lash primer. I'm going in with the Dior lash primer, my tried and true. Now, one thing I never skip is lashes. Even on the minimal makeup days, especially because we're not really doing a lot on the eyes to define or emphasize the eyes, I want the lashes to do all of that. So I am gonna build the lash. I'm gonna go in with Merit Beauty Mascara, Perfect Black. I like to apply mascara when the lash primer is still a little bit wet. I find that you can get more separation and just have a little more control over how the lashes look. This mascara is great at lengthening. It's gonna give some volume too, but it's really pretty and light and wispy. Separates the lash. And what I like about this mascara is you can really build it. This eye right here, my lashes are a lot shorter. I've had a lot more shed on this side, so I need to really compensate and add more mascara to this side. And even though I'm building and building and building, it's giving lots of volume and length, but it's not getting clumpy. So do you see how lashes just really define the eye here? We don't have a lot of eye makeup on, but our eyes are defined because of the mascara. Next, we're going in with the Flush Balm from Merit Beauty, and I'm excited because this is a new shade. I own a few other shades, but I haven't tried this one. This is called Stock Home. And what I love about this formula is it's very buildable. It goes on pretty sheer at first, but you can really build it to get the perfect amount of color that you want. They're very lightweight. It has a radiant finish. You can use these on the cheeks, the eyes, and the lips. Today, we're gonna use it on the cheek and the lips. Ooh, this color is so pretty. Just a really soft kind of petal bubblegum pink. It has a really creamy but lightweight texture. The way that I like to apply these, you can go directly to the skin if you want, but the way that I like to actually apply these, I actually like to take my brush to the product and apply it that way. Doing that is gonna give you the lightest amount of coverage. If you go directly to the cheek, let's go ahead and do that, you're gonna get more color payoff. But this, similar to the eyeshadow crayon that I was talking about, is like pretty impossible to mess up. Even if you apply too much, all you really need to do is just blend it out and it blends out so easily. It gives a really pretty glow to the skin, but again, these don't have any shimmer to them. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, very natural, but glowing. Let's do the other side. Oh, I love that, so pretty. So if you want more color, then just be careful not to blend out too much or just blend out the edges, pretty. And then you can just do the little technique of going brush to the cheeks to add a little more color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna actually apply it on the lips. That has a nice texture to it on the lips. It feels like a sheer creamy lipstick. Next, we're going in with the Merit Lip Oils. I love these. I've really been obsessed with lip oils lately. And this texture is a really nice lightweight texture. It's kind of like a hybrid between a lip oil and a lip stain. Most lip oils that I use are real sheer in color. This one is as well, but they're like really sheer and the color kind of fades after a few minutes. This actually gives the lips a little bit of a stain. It's just really nice. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like a thick or heavy oil and it gives more color than you'd expect. Not pretty. It also plumps the lips and it feels so, so good. So this is the color Jet, Jete, one of the two, <laughs> J-E-T-E. -E. I'll have everything with the shade names, of course, in the description box below for you, but in this a really pretty color. Oh, it feels so good. I've been wearing these to the gym every morning. So we're pretty much done. I do wanna powder just the center of my face just to control shine throughout the day. So I'm using a translucent mattifying powder. Um, right now I have been using the one from Makeup Forever. It's really nice. I have a few that I love and use, but I'm gonna really strategically like place this just in the center of my face, my forehead, and maybe around my nose. I'm gonna kind of avoid the cheeks. I wanna keep that glow from the Merit Flush Balm. So I'm really just gonna go in here and minimize shine right around here. And this is it. So very simple, clean, polished look. You could omit the eye shadow and get this done probably in five minutes. I would say this whole look would take maybe five to maybe eight minutes. I don't know. It's a good test for me to try one day when I'm not sitting here filming the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, Merit, for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, you guys, if you are new customers, you will get the signature bag included in your first order. And then $40 or more, all your orders ship for free. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.